sharing a super fun game. It's easy, it's inexpensive, you can play this at any outdoor event in warm weather. But first, welcome to Mountain Mama, a family lifestyle channel. We have played this game at an outdoor high school graduation party, a family reunion picnic, and a business networking barbecue. It's super easy, it doesn't require any athletic skill, otherwise I wouldn't be able to play it. All it requires is focus. Every time I have brought this game to a party, everyone has loved it and thanked me for bringing it. Actually, this isn't really a game because there's no real winner or loser. It's more of an activity that everyone will really, really enjoy. So what you need is tennis balls and water balloons. About five to 12 tennis balls and about 20 water balloons. You need an odd number of people to play this game, at least five. So you can have five, seven, nine, eleven, I'd say all the way up to fifteen. So anywhere from five to fifteen people to play this game. So what you're going to do is you're going to get your odd number of people to stand in a circle and one person is going to start, they're going to throw the ball to someone almost directly across from them. And then they're going to throw it to someone almost directly across from them. So that ball is going to continue being thrown around the circle until it returns to the very first person who threw the ball. And it's going to look something like this. Keep in mind, this is very important. You're always going to throw to the same person and you're always going to catch from the same person. Let's see what this looks like with real people. We're going to start with a tennis ball because people won't be as nervous with the tennis ball. Once we've established a pattern of throwing and catching the ball and everyone is comfortable with what they're supposed to do, you can add a second ball to the mix. And you just keep on going to see how many balls you can keep going in the mix. For us, there were seven people and we topped out at about five balls. Once you feel like you've mastered this sport playing with tennis balls, this is where it gets really interesting because you move on to water balloons. And everyone is enjoying themselves having a really good time, but they're just a little bit nervous about getting hit with that water balloon. So we start off the same way with one water balloon, making sure we establish our pattern, making sure that everyone gets a feel for what it feels like to throw and catch the water balloon. And then we're going to move on to two water balloons and we're going to keep going to see how many we can keep in play.
this game often ends with a water balloon fight. Okay. that I would like to try next time we play this game is to have everyone in the circle begin with one water balloon in their hand. So everyone has a water balloon and everyone throws at the same time. I think that would be really fun. I hope you'll try this activity at your next outdoor event on a warm day. I think everyone's gonna really, really enjoy it. I know we always do. Thanks for watching and please subscribe.